things are back to normal. Well, in two very, very specific ways, and only for this video. And those two things are, one, I'm filming this the day before I actually uploaded, which is what I used to do and haven't been doing it lately. And number two, and you know what, before I get into number two, um, well, that sounded weird. Anyway, no joke there. Before I get into number, now I can't stop wanting to make a joke, but I, I will resist. I shall resist. Okay, I'm okay. Um, before we address the second point, <laughs> I want to address something else. And yes, same shirt as the last couple of videos, but this time I have a very, very good excuse. And that is because it's only been a few hours since I recorded the last video. So same day, same shirt, nothing gross about that. <laughs> and the reason why I kind of chose to throw that in is because I completely forgot point number two. And I was hoping this would buy me time to remember and I just completely blanked on what the other point was. So I'll come back to it when I remember it. It's really not that important. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, really don't know. Anyway, that's not the point of the video. The two points are not the point of the video, as surprising as that is. Oh yeah. The point of the video is the second point. That's, that's funny. So the second point is I'm also going back to having an actual story to tell for a video rather than me just rambling about my life and how much it sucks and how much you should pity me. Okay. I don't feel like that's what I've been doing. At least I hope that's not how it comes across, but it's definitely nice to have an actual story to tell for a change. So since it is the same day, and the reason why I'm recording this now is because it just happened, um, I went grocery shopping. I was feeling good. I need to start walking again. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go grocery shopping. And as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, pumpkin pie season is about to start. In fact, when I went to the grocery store yesterday, I spoke to an employee and she's like, oh, we'll receive the shipment later today. Uh, we'll put everything out tomorrow, so come back tomorrow and you'll be able to get some. So went back the next day, which is today, all excited. I look and no pumpkin pie. So I ask an employee who happens to be the exact same employee that I spoke to yesterday. Hey, remember me? We spoke yesterday. I asked about the pumpkin pie. I was just curious to see uh, if you received the shipment. And turns out that unfortunately they did not receive it as planned. They should be receiving it today instead and then putting it out tomorrow. What she did do, however, was super nice. She's like, you know what, just to be safe, to make sure that you don't come back again for nothing, uh, give me your name. And when I unpack the pallet, I'm going to set some aside for you to guarantee that they'll be here when you get there so they don't sell out. So I gave her my name, gave her the amount that I wanted. And she's like, all right, just come back tomorrow, the day after, whenever you want. Tell them my name if ever I'm not here and someone will go ahead and get it for you. So I went from having the pretty much best interaction I've ever had with a supermarket. <coughs> Sorry about that. Some nice fun coming back up. So as I was saying, I went from having what is pretty much the best interaction I've ever had with a supermarket employee, which is ironic because the previous best interaction I had with a supermarket employee was with that exact same employee at that exact same store. Anyway, point is within the span of five minutes, I went from having the best conversation or best interaction with the supermarket employee that I've ever had to the worst one. Obviously, there were two separate employees. So anyway, after the whole pumpkin pie thing, I'm like, oh, there's also maple syrup that's on sale. Being a true Canadian, I'm like, I got to buy some. I got to stock up on that. So go to the aisle 
and checked and unfortunately they've run out of it on the shelf and I'm like hey maybe there's more in the back let me ask so I go find a different employee whoever's nearby and ask them hey I noticed that the maple syrup is out of stock on the shelf would you by any chance happen to have some in the back I may not have used those exact words but that was the gist of it I'm always very polite and friendly when I speak to employees because I know you know, sometimes they deal with people who aren't as nice and friendly. So that's kind of how I approach the situation. And I've interacted with that guy in the past and he always kind of seems to be in a bad mood. He kind of seems frustrated. And I am going to paraphrase because he's spoken French, not in English. But the gist of what he said was, how the fuck should I know? It's not my department. Ask someone else. So, <coughs> so two things. First of all, okay, I get that you don't know. I get that it's not your department. That's totally fine. But do you have to say it in that tone? That tone that implies that I'm completely interrupting your oh so important life to ask you a completely pointless question? Does it have to be that tone? Can't you just be like, sorry, it's not my department. Uh, I recommend going to find someone else and asking them instead. That would have been totally fine too. But no, he chose to, second thing, swear at me. That was the first time ever that a store employee ever swore at me. It's not like they insulted me. They weren't like, fuck you. It's not my department. They're like, how the fuck should I know? But still, it seems very, very unprofessional to me. And that is the rudest interaction I've ever had with a supermarket employee. So it's just funny going from one extreme of like, she's super kind, super nice. She's going to go out of her way to set them aside for me, to put my name on it, to make sure that even if she's not there, I'm able to get them. To some guy who's like, not my department. I don't give a fuck. Get out of my face. And I'm just like, okay, same exact store within five minutes of each other, completely different interaction. And it just kind of goes to prove that, <coughs> you know, who you are, how you choose to interact with people or the world in general has such a huge impact, not just on yourself, but also on other people and how they perceive you because my perception of that first employee who's super kind to me and who I've had good interactions with in the past is I'm like best employee ever I love her she's amazing to worst employee ever I am considering complaining about them slight difference same exact situation Different ways of responding. So anyway, just thought it was interesting, worth sharing. So yeah, it's nice to be able to kind of go back to the old days of having an actual story to tell because it's like, I'm a storyteller. This is, this is what I do. And it's like, yeah, okay. Sharing my life and my story and stuff that happens and the ups and the downs. Like it is a form of storytelling, but this is like a legit story with like, you know, plot points and twists and turns and everything. And I'm just like, oh, feels good. It really feels like I'm back. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And hopefully also uh, tomorrow when I go back, they're finally going to have pumpkin pies because at, at this point, like, you know, it's been building up and building up so much. And I'm like, I just got to have it, you know, <laughs> in fact, yesterday, I already bought the whipped cream to go on top of it. So it's like, I have everything I need. I just need that pumpkin pie. Just give me that pumpkin pie and I'll be happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was my story for the day. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you probably tomorrow.